Hey guys, I'm Rob Basin. Today we're checking out Star Wars The Black Series Zori Bliss. If you've seen the Star Wars movies, the new ones, you, you know who she is. You get it. I only picked this character up because uh, she kind of looks like a female Rocketeer. And I want to put her in my Rocketeer figure from Diamond Select. So I picked her up just for that. You know, I'm a, I'm a Star Wars fan. Take him or leave him. You know, the last couple movies have existed, but... There's some really cool designs with this toy. She's number 103 in the series. If you know the Black Series, you get it. There's a little brief bio on the black. The package is all black with little gray hints. And, you know, it's there. There's your little bio. And it's got it in a couple different languages. You, you've seen this on the shelves. You know what you're getting yourselves into. Other than that, what's really cool about the Black Series is that image right there. That pretty cool image. Let's not waste any more time. Let's just open up this toy and get to the figure inside all right let's do this all right taking it out of the package she's got this really cool like steampunk cyberpunk combination like wild west really cool look at these guns they look like pirate musketeer type of one shot handguns but they're really cool and she comes with both trigger hands which is cool so she's got both guns and there's been something up about this figure as i'm looking at it the helmet. I don't know if anyone's pointed this out before. I'm probably late to the game. But is her helmet reminiscent of Boba Fett's Slave 1 ship? Uh, just, just look at that. Doesn't that look exactly like Boba Fett's ship? I mean, there's an homage, right? They did that in these new movies. There's a lot of homages to old stuff. And I'm pretty sure that this is Boba Fett's Slave 1. Leave me a comment if you agree. I mean, look at this. You know, yeah, let me just change the angle for you guys first off she's got a great head movement so she can actually look up so she could probably be a really cool rocketeer but if you look above and look down at her shoulder pads and the helmet don't you see it that's not it's a bad angle but it looks like slave one now that makes this figure extra cool to me i don't know what it is I'm a Boba Fett fan i love mandalorian so basically this figure could fit in with the mandalorian figures she could be protecting baby yoda i don't know there's something about this character that now makes her that much cooler to me i always thought the helmet looked weird in the movie but seeing it like this all right that's a cool easter egg it's still a cool looking helmet and she's a great looking figure she has great range of movement she has articulation like the double knees double elbows wrist i think she has an ab crunch she has a waist and she poses well the guns hold well in the hand with the trigger. The only thing I gotta say is, with the guns, the way they're designed, they, they just don't go straight, like, at all. But, I mean, they look great, but they just don't exactly look right. She, she's got this weird look to it, but it, it's fine. It's, I'm not gonna overthink it. It's a really cool-looking figure. And honestly, for a character from a movie I didn't really get super invested in, I'm really digging this figure. So, guys, I'm telling you right now, pick this up. You're not going to be disappointed. It's really worth the money. Zora Bliss, for whatever it is, is a great-looking action figure. Guys, get your hands on her. Pick her up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget we have an Alternative Mindset Zone Patreon. You can find that on our website. And until next time, take it easy, guys.